All right, so let me explain, right? <clears throat> I couldn't find out how to get, like, um, I couldn't find out how to get Kager Fusion working in, uh, in full screen, so I got this, like, random green hill image, opened it in photo viewer, <laughs> zoomed in, because <laughs> it makes the background. Um... It's not exactly the most fitting, considering Sonic 1 is not what I'm playing today. I'm actually playing Sonic 2. Um, and I always wondered, like, how am I going to do this? Because Fusion doesn't really go full screen. Like, you see this, like, up here. You can't click that for it to go, like, bigger. So, and you can't, like, go to the side and, like, stretch out or anything like that, like you can with others. So, never mind. Um, so... You may be wondering why I'm playing Sonic 2. Well, first of all, I really like Sonic 2. And secondly, um, so I didn't actually notice until recently, but over the last few days, I hit 100 subscribers, which is something I didn't think I'd ever get to. I started uploading videos like in 2015 just as like for fun, and uh, apparently enough people like them. So um, <laughs> I have uh, another game planned as well um, to do before I go back to Flashpoint. Unless I find another one! <laughs> you never know. Um, but I decided that uh, maybe I'll do Sonic 2, you know? Um, so yeah, like I said, I really like Sonic 2. It's probably my favourite Genesis Sonic game, actually. Uh, to be fair, I've only really, like, in terms of Sonic, I've really only played, like, um, Sonic 1, 2, 3 and Knuckles, Mania, uh, I think I played a little bit of Sonic 3D, or Sonic 3D Blast, whichever one it was, and I think I played Sonic Unleashed like a very small amount, so. Oh, and I also played uh, Sonic Generations, the 3DS version. So, <laughs> so um, I guess this, I guess you could count this as a 100 sub special, I don't know, maybe, um, but um, well, I, I suppose I'll put that in the title, I might as well. Anyway, let's just go. <laughs> let's just go. So, I'm not going to be, um... I'm not going to be doing Supersonic, because I don't want to put myself through that again, ever. <laughs> it wasn't very good. So, yeah, I'm not going to be doing it, because why would I? <laughs> if I if I tried to do it, I would not have any fun, so... All I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to play through Sonic 2. That's it, that's all there is to it. <laughs> There's not really anything else to say to really, is there? So, yeah, it's kind of awkward that I have a, uh, a Green Hill design in the background, even though the first level of this game is actually Emerald Hill. But the reason for that is because I was thinking maybe I'll play Sonic 1 first, but then, like, Sonic 2 was the, like, the file opened on when I, uh, when I began to load, and I was like, yeah, you know what, fine, whatever, we'll do Sonic 2 first. Since I like it that much, so I might also play like a few interesting rom hacks. Like th th there's a few interesting ones for this game, and there's a few interesting ones of Sonic One as well. Sonic Three and Knuckles doesn't really seem to have as many hacks as other games. I don't know why that is, but it just doesn't seem to have any. But well, not any, but many. <coughs> we'll say I missed every single one of those rings. Well done. Um, <laughs> Great job. I haven't actually uh, recorded anything in like two weeks, so I'm not doing very well. Let's just uh, let's just say that much right now. Yeah, um, I like to play this game like every now and again. It's a it's a good way to pass the time. There's um, whoa, <coughs> there's not really anything to say. I'll be honest. Um, it's it's I mean, Emerald Hill is the first level. What can you really say? It's the, it's the first one. Also, real quick though. Kill these guys. <coughs> up, I, I said, up, I pressed the jump button, I swear. So up here, there's some invincibility, and I missed it completely. Great job. Wow, aren't I great? So anyway, yeah, um, I usually just um, play as Sonic or Tails alone. Tails is literally no different to Sonic in this game. But it's always interesting to see what Tails does when he follows you, because let's be honest, Tails is kind of stupid in this game. <laughs> he always like runs into... <coughs> well, everything. He runs into death. So, you know, just uh, keep an eye on him. I can't, I guarantee you he's going to cause some trouble on uh, Metropolis later on, but 
I suppose we'll see how much he gets in my way as opposed to actually helping. Because he, he doesn't really help you, really. <laughs> like, yeah, sure, he can get a ring or something, but... And let's be honest, Tails in uh, special stages, yeah, probably not good. I always like this animation, though. That was always good. Alright, finally. Chemical Plant Zone. So the first level with water, except there isn't any until <coughs> Act 2. I think everybody knows exactly. Like, every everybody knows about this level, don't they? They all know the infamous water se Excuse me, I killed you! <coughs> everybody knows the infamous, like, water section of this game. I think. You know, everybody had their brushes with death in this zone. But, you know. Who knows? Maybe somebody's first death in this game was in Emerald Hill Zone. It's not exactly impossible. I remember I made, like, a, a meme once about this. I was like, um... It was like, uh, getting game over or whatever, and it was like, oh yeah, you know, you game over on Scrap Brain, you game over on this, and then like the, uh, it was like an expanding brain meme, and, uh, the end, the last one was drowning in Green Hill Zone, which <laughs> you can't do. You can't drown in, you can't drown in Green Hill Zone, don't ask me what grounding means, I don't know. I dread to think. <coughs> chemical Plant Zone Act 2, here we are. I also notice it doesn't say Act in this game, it just says Chemical Plant Zone 2. So this isn't Act 2, it's just the sequel. <laughs> The chemical plant zone. Great job. Uh, there's, 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 there's extra life in there. <clears throat> Just, I always take like the same routes when I play this game. I'm sure everybody probably does that with like every game, really. Any game that has like multiple paths, I'm sure everybody has like a, a specific route that they always take whenever they play through it. I'm sure that's probably the case. Um, but you know, very stale commentary. Actually, I'll be honest. <laughs> Oh man, this is terrible. This is going horribly wrong. What happened there? <laughs> What's that? What happened? I have no idea. I just like... <clears throat> I just I just like... Stopped. <laughs> There's also like, um... I don't remember if it was this... This... Uh, this game and this level. But I seem to remember getting stuck in the wall at one point while I was playing around with Supersonic. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> what is that? Why does that happen? I don't know. So, um, yeah, that's definitely something. Don't let him grab you, because you won't like it. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. Let's quickly go down here. Because all the way over here is another extra life. There's a lot of them. There, there's definitely a lot of them. I don't know how many there are, but there's a lot. That's all I know. We almost have 100 rings as well. Which will get us another extra life. <laughs> how many lives do you think I'm going to have by the end of this? I always have, like... <clears throat> my life my life counter is always like in the twin. Oh god. Um okay, so <laughs> here we are. This is um exactly what I was trying to avoid. You see that like wall over there that went down when I passed it? You can stand there and just like wait for the blocks. Which is actually a fairly decent strategy. It's not that hard now. Like, you know, it was a lot harder when I was a kid and I was terrible at pressing the buttons properly. But you know. I actually remember the first time I beat this game, I was like I was like ill off school and I just played this and I won. Because <laughs> I had <coughs> a Mega Drive or Genesis as it's known uh, in other areas and um, <coughs> and I wasn't even, <coughs> it wasn't even like the late 90s, it was like the early 2000s. Okay there, good. Tails is gone because he has killed, oh good. Great job. All oh, right. Well, I died. Amazing. Great. Lovely. Aren't I great at this game? Not really. I immediately got fucked over. That's why I always do like the bouncing strategy. But with tails around, I can't. Okay. Great. I'm too, like, you could just jump on him and get, like, all eight hits at once. But I'm just, I just don't want to do it because of Tails. Tails is literally just the deadliest thing of all time. Like, he will do this all the time. He will always be really annoying. And he will hit Robotnik first somehow. And then I will face through him and die. So, you know. I have no idea why they changed his name. <coughs> like, he was, uh, 
He was Dr. Ivo Robotnik and then they changed it to Eggman, and I still have no idea why. Maybe it was so that Sonic could make all the cheesy egghead jokes he wants in the future. Who knows, maybe they saw that coming. Which is literally it, like, they'll just make egg jokes because his name is Eggman and he's shaped like an egg, right? Hilarious. They do it all the time. Actually, um, I forgot to mention that I did actually play Sonic Rush Adventure as well, um, when I was listing off the Sonic games I played. I really like that one too. I would I would do a place of that one day if I could. Yeah, maybe one day I'll have like capture cards or whatever and I'll be able to play more than a few games. Who knows? But for now we're stuck with uh, what I can get. <coughs> and uh, yeah, let's just uh, maybe maybe one day, right? M maybe perhaps one day I'll play Sonic Rush Adventure if I can. I was also going to do another um, one of the first videos I uploaded was GTA San Andreas LP trailer, and it was literally just like the opening, like you know the opening movies to San Andreas when you watch it <coughs> instead of skipping it. It just like plays the theme song and just shows like a bunch of like shots of San Andreas and a few other things as well. It was basically just that, <laughs> and I was like, oh boy, I'm going to start this LP soon. That was like what six or seven years ago at this point, and I never have done it. <coughs> nice and voice break there. But I was actually planning to at one point, but like there's only one problem. Well actually there's two problems. Now there's three. Because the first problem is that San Andres, for me, doesn't really work too well, surprisingly enough. You know, it, it there's crashing and several other issues. But another issue is that OBS doesn't seem to like me. Because when I try to record in full screen, it's literally just like a video, it's, it's literally just like a, a small picture in like the top left of the screen. The rest of the screen is just black and it flickers, it flickers horribly. So I didn't upload that, you know. I also, I did actually do like a video, it was like December last year or maybe, or maybe it was 2020, I don't remember, of um, I was doing a redo of my Marina Car Park Garage video that I did on Vice City years ago. I tried to do a remake of it and didn't work out, so... Great job! <laughs> anyway, um... So that video was then... Not uploaded. So... That's Aquatic Ruin Zone. I like. I don't think I mentioned it at all. But it's the, uh... The proper water, water level of this game. I don't think there's any more water levels in this game, is there? I don't think there's any, like, proper water levels. Anyway, Casino Night Zone. Probably my favourite level in the game. There's barely any bad mix in this level. You can... You, you'll find it really hard to die unless you like intentionally step on some spot fails what are you doing <laughs> he was like he was like floating on his feet <laughs> I love like um tails just like kind of glitches out sometimes it's also fun to see there's also um oh did I just fall I just think I just glitched through the wall a little bit there I glitched through something I don't know what it was there's um so yeah this level is actually um probably the easiest in the game actually because there are even less badniks than there were in Emerald Hill. There's only one badnik type you will see in this level, and he only appears like maybe twice per act. I don't know, there's other there's other routes that I don't really take very often. But I think everybody probably knows this level for all of the slot machines that you can do. I'm sure everyone at one point has probably tried to get 999 rings for doing the slot machines. And it's like, it's not exactly easy because Dr. Robotnik will show up and take 100 of your rings every bloody time. It's really in Tails. Tails. <laughs> what are you doing? Tails, why? What are you doing? How are you doing that? Magician! He's a wizard. He's a fucking wizard! Alright, Casino Night Zone Act 2. Okay, so has Tails stopped? <laughs> oh yeah, this guy, you can only kill him by like spin dashing or rolling at him from the back, I'm pretty sure. I, need, I want to go up there. What are these supposed to be? Like, did anybody ever watch the Sonic cartoon? when they were younger, because I thought those were chili dogs. Because, you know, Sonic really likes chili dogs, at least in the cartoons he does. I think they actually put that in the game eventually, didn't they? I think they did. <laughs> like, um, there was like a cutscene where he eats a chili dog or something, I don't know. I, I think that's a thing. I seem to remember that being a thing. I think there was like a video called Sonic Eats Chili Dogs for 10 minutes, and it was just like, him eating a chili dog from that cutscene. <laughs> it was over and over again. For 10 minutes, why? It's like, um... It's like the uh, concept of people making things for 10 hours. Ah, uh, here's one of the slot machines. Go in. <laughs> I want to show it. <clears throat> there we go. So, um... There you go. Look, you just, you just get rings. That's really all there is to say. If you get three Robotniks, or you get Robotnik and two Jackpots, you, um... Okay, I don't know what happened there. 
you will get minus 100 rings, like literally, he will take all of the rings you've got, all 100 of them if you have over 100, it's really annoying, actually, he's the bane of your existence if you're trying to get 999 rings, why you would want to, I don't know, it's like, um, I've done it too, I will admit, it. probably just because I can, also, um, I seem to remember a glitch where I looked up here, and like the camera panned up, and then I jumped and I fell through the floor, and I died, at least I remember that, uh, it might not have happened, <laughs> dramatization may not have happened, yeah, I don't know if it actually did, I just remember it happening. Ah yes, the boss that everyone has trouble with. Because he's kind of annoying. But you just do that. <laughs> you just do this. That's all there is to it. Uh, he's still going to hit me though. Okay, not quite. He didn't get me there. Yeah, th I always usually get hit just because of the flippers kind of being in the way. But that's really it. Oh hey, I didn't get hit. What do you know? Tails, where are you going? Oh yeah, you could also... You might have also seen like... Uh, his grabber thing fall through the floor and start scrolling across the screen. Oh look, bears! I like how um, they're all baby animals specifically. Like, I, I don't know why Robotnik likes to have baby animals control his robots. I, I don't know. I don't think he really understands what a robot is, but you know, they call Badniks the uh, enemies in this game. I think I already mentioned that. Bye tails. <laughs> he never makes that jump ever. Every time I play this game, he always falls in the, like, in the pit, every time. And I always fall in the lava there, and I don't know why. Seesaw, boing. <coughs> hmm, I don't remember seesaws working like that when I went to the park as a kid. Which was actually quite a few times, can't I think about it? <coughs> and then you just get, you know, it's, it's basically just like a spring. But it's based off momentum. There was stuff like this in Sonic 1 as well. But it was spiked balls and it was uh, Starlight Zone, so... You could just skip that lift. You could do that for the first lift as well. But it's a bit risky because it's death if you fall off. Whereas that one you just go into the lava. Yeah, unlike unlike the uh, the 2D Mario game, Sonic doesn't die immediately to lava, he just takes damage. Which is pretty cool because if he died immediately immediately to lava, this game would be a lot harder than I than I uh, than I thought, so. I wonder what like uh, people think the hardest like uh, Genesis game is, I don't know. Or just Genesis Sonic game in specific in particular, if you're trying to be specific. There we go, get that, get, get out of there real quick. I always liked that segment as Super Sonic because it could just run through. I have been crushed by like the first part, you know, where it's like just moving the ground up. I have got crushed there because I tried to rush it and uh, the ground wasn't far up enough on the, on the right and I died. <laughs> because of course I did, why wouldn't I? Hilltop Zone, Act 2. Alright then, so there's actually, um, there's an alternate route, I think it's up there. Is it up there? It might be, hang on. I don't know if it's up there or if it's like later in the level. Oh, there we go. You can get up here, yeah, it's up here. There's an alternate route you can take. I don't know if it's the easier route, it probably is. I think it's a bit longer though, than the normal route. I almost missed that as well. That one doesn't sink entirely, so you'll have to stand on it. I guess skip. Okay, don't skip that apparently. It's just uh, this is just like a Loch Ness monster over there. Although it's not really Loch Ness, it's just, it's just lava. Haha, -ha, you've got nothing. <clears throat> Alright then. He just reminds me of that Sonic Shorts, um, that Python Sonic Shorts. I said, like, why can I only travel in one direction? And then later on, the guy's like, hey, you know, the hedgehog went that way. Well, will you shut up? Alright, so here, you're probably wondering what the hell is happening. Well, the ground, the ground is raising. Really slowly. <laughs> it's like uh, all those times in Sonic 1 where you have to wait. Fastest thing alive! Alright, anyway. We'll get that eventually. I was trying to, <laughs> trying to get Tails to go under that, but didn't. Sometimes you can end up getting Tails killed. By, even if you're not intending to. It's actually surprisingly easy now that I think about it. Alright, get out of there, because it's really slow and I would rather go a bit quicker than that. There's also, uh, I, I saw three ring monsters up there, I'm not entirely sure how you get to them, because I don't think I ever have. Like, ever. I don't know, maybe I have. I don't remember doing it! <laughs> Who knows. There's a lot of, like, extras in this game that I don't think I've ever actually reached. That was really good. Really useful. <laughs> Great job. Anyway. 
Uh, luckily I've lost Tails for now, but he'll be back. Just keep jumping so he doesn't land. So then I can do that. You're probably always going to land in the lava if you do that, but who cares, right? So there we go, I killed him, and Tails didn't get me killed this time, but he hit the thing. Oh look, monkey. Monkeys and eagles. Mystic Cave Zone, this level has the pit of spikes, which nobody likes. So, oh hey, that rhyme. what do you know? I'm a poet now, apparently. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm a poet. I'm not going to challenge Fern Walters though, that would be a bad idea. So anyway... <coughs> That's not a poem. He rhymed poem with poem four times. <laughs> Seriously though, Binky's poem should be like a shirt. <laughs> a shit post shirt. Alright, anyway. That guy's annoying because whenever he has his light on, that makes him invincible somehow, so. I don't know, maybe it's like the same vein as having the light on makes you, like, invincible to the buggy man or something. I don't know, maybe it's the same thing, who knows? It's not the same thing at all. Those ones are going down instead of up, which is a bit awkward. Okay, just. <clears throat> if you can somehow land on that up there, like up the top. You can, like, spin dash through, it's pretty funny, actually. I do it whenever I play Supersonic, because there's, like, cheats to unlock Supersonic and stuff. When did this go down? Did Tails hit it? He must have done. Yeah, there's, like, cheats to unlock, so like, Supersonic and debug mode without getting any Chaos Emeralds or whatever. And, uh, let me tell you, debug mode when I was a kid was the most fun thing ever. I actually crashed the game once, playing around with debug mode. If you jump at the end, just before the text, text comes up, you can have control of Sonic. It's not really any, there's not really any point to it, unlike Sonic 1, because there's no hidden points around um, the sign. I don't know why they got rid of that, that's pretty cool. It was always fun trying to find like the highest uh, number that would pop up. Okay, I missed, great job. Can I not get back up there? No, I can't. That's an alternate route. It's uh, not really the most exciting route, I don't think, but it's alright. I, I don't know, I never really take that route very often because I always miss. <laughs> I'm always going way too fast for it, but <clears throat> I always thought this was kind of funny, I could just do this. You don't even really need to worry about that. Also, sometimes with Supersonic I'm going so fast that I phase through that thing after I hit the switch. Die. Alright, there we go, got rid of him. Now look out, because the pit's coming up. Whoa, careful. Don't get crushed. If the pit is down there, don't jump. Bye, Tails! <laughs> yeah, don't jump there, it's not a good idea. Down here, though, is an extra life, which is pretty cool. Nice. Boing. Eh. Great, I hit him at the very, like, last... Oh, come on. Alright, now I'm definitely gonna kill him. Nope, never mind, Tails did. Well, fuck you too, Tails. Stealing my kills now, are you? I see how it is. Alright then, anyway. Haha, uh -huh, you missed me. Just grab back to the as well. Fantastic. Asshole. Die. Alright, there we go. Is that a mouse that just popped out? I think it was. Alright, the boss of this level is, I'm pretty sure, also a boss in Marvel Garden Zone, Sonic 3. He has a drill. I didn't do very well hitting him when he came down because of that stupid spiked one that got me, but <clears throat> I feel like this is just going to be like me failing for the entire time. So yeah, chickens and mice for this. Uh, I can understand mice in a cave, but chickens? Really? Oh, right, oil ocean. I don't like this level at all because it kind of sucks. So there's, there's oil down there. And if you fall into it, you'll start sinking. If you don't jump, you'll be stuck. I didn't mean to demonstrate that, but okay. Okay, that I can make that jump. Well, what do you know? Take that. But one of the reasons I don't like this zone is having to wait for these things to go all the time. And there's some really annoying badniks as well. And it jumps where if you fall, you got to do the entire segment again. So I hope you enjoyed that segment because you're going to do it twice. Sometimes even more times. I guess you can get some decent speed while waiting for them. I guess there is that, I suppose, but... There's also like this, like... You see those, like, fan things that just, like... 
like carrying Sonic around and like sending him in other directions. There's one on like a hill, not a hill, like one of those like lifts, those elevator things. There's one on one of those that's like really annoying. It's like, um, how do I explain it? It's like, you're running towards it. No, don't go down this, go up it. You're running towards it, right? And uh, it's pushing you in the other direction. And it's incredibly annoying. I know I can get up there, I've done it before. No. no Sonic, stop running. Sonic, stand still. Okay, apparently I can't spin dash here. Which is weird, because I know I've done it before. I can get I can get up there. I've done it before. I've done it. Never mind. Fuck you, Tails. You fucking ruined it. Idiot. You're a dumbass. Why do I bring you around with me again? So yeah, I know you can get up there, but I can't show it because Tails is an asshole and broke the shit. I've done it. I've done it before, I swear. Nobody's going to believe me. Ever, but you know. Alright, anyway. Just, uh... Man, I really, um... This did not go to plan at all. Get out of here, you. And then there's this, where you're just kind of forced to watch a cutscene. While Sonic just goes in... Many of these things that just shoot you around. Wow, what... The... What am I even talking about? I don't know. I've lost it. Honestly, I must have. I have no idea what to talk about. And I just jumped onto spikes like an idiot. Great! <laughs> wow. I'm so smart. Except not really, actually I'm pretty stupid. Alright, anyway. How many more times are I going to say alright anyway? But here's the thing, it pushes you. Um, I'm pushing something apparently. I, d I don't know why he's doing that animation, but okay, sure, whatever you say. Also, you can, you can get crushed by these things if you uh, stand underneath the fire and are somehow still standing on it when it comes down. Like using invincibility frames or whatever. I could just fast forward that. <coughs> Oil Ocean Zone, Act 2. I hate that spring. I hate it. I always fall for it. Oh yeah, there's also like a, a weird glitch you could do here. I don't know how it goes. I think you have to do that. And then, all of a sudden, Sonic jumps really high. <laughs> I think he runs faster as well. I'm not really sure how I would explain this glitch or what I would call it. But like, it just like, kind of zooms in everything. I think, um... When I saw this, like the video I saw of this on YouTube when I learned how to do it, I can't believe I got it first try by the way. I think the person called it like, um, hypersonic glitch. It wears off eventually. I think it's because I hit the spring, I think that wears it off. Something else does too. Yeah, it's actually kind of fun to play around with for the short time you get to play with it. I really wish there was like a, like a code, like action replay code or whatever to make Sonic control that way the entire game. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. I'm pretty sure that's not a thing though. Somebody should make that. Somebody should actually make that a code. I would play the games. I would play through the game like that. I would. I'd do it. I wonder how he would control underwater. Probably not. Probably not any different. <laughs> maybe he would just control under like underwater. He would control like normal Sonic. Maybe. Yeah, you know what? That sounds about right. And there's also something I think is pretty cool. Is um, <coughs> great job. If you have that invincibility on, then you go supersonic. You'll be supersonic with those invincibility stars around you, which is really cool. Uh, jump up here because there's a checkpoint there. And I'm probably going to get wrecked by the boss at some point because Tails will screw me over. You can only really hit him six times. You can also do this. But I don't like doing that because it's kind of boring and kind of hard. I remember I used to do that all the time, but then once I died, so I stopped doing it. Cross Tails got hit by wouldn't he? Tails. Okay, he didn't go into the oil, he just jumped. Well at least he's smart enough to do that. He believe well did it again. Right, penguins and I believe those are seals. So I've just tapped his foot. I remember in the in the cartoon he always said, I'm waiting whenever we did that, and it was always kind of funny. Slightly annoying but funny. Metropolis Zone Act 1. The worst level in the game, probably. 
because it's kind of just, um, you know what, I'm going to say it, it's the scrap brain of this game. <laughs> like, you know how scrap brain in Sonic 1 was just like, kill Sonic at all costs? This is basically scrap brain Sonic 2 style. I hate it. It's it's terrible. And uh, you'll notice that like unlike a Sonic 1, every zone in this game now has two acts, which is the norm nowadays. Except this one has three, so that's no fun. I remember when I was a kid and I beat Act 2 fine and I was like, oh, it's over, but there's no boss. Act 3, oh no! I was like, no, you can't do this to me. Alright, well. There's a... It's like, can you imagine how I felt? Because I was stuck on, on like oil ocean a lot. And uh, I finally got to this and I was like... You, you can probably guess how I reacted to this. I was like, okay, you've got to be kidding me. Tails, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? That's that's really dumb. Stop it. But whenever he does that, it's actually kind of like it kind of screws you over a little bit because uh, there's like those starfish things and they'll activate when you're close enough to them. And yeah, you can probably guess he gets them all the time. Slices, they're the worst. So you've got to run on these little corkscrew things. If you can get Tails to run with you at the same time, it's not that bad and it's a lot quicker. But you know, Tails just does that, and when he does that, he activates those Astron things. Now, luckily, I'm invincible, so. <clears throat> didn't affect me that time. Yeah, I think that's what they're called. The thing's Astaron. And that's the official name of that bad nick. I think. Something like that. Then you've got the um, the giant crab things are called shell crackers. I don't know if they're any relation to crab meat from Sonic 1, which is the crabs in that game. Maybe. Maybe it's based off them, who knows. But he's called Shell Cracker. And I don't... You've probably not seen it, but like I did... <coughs> I, played, I did a uh, black and white playthrough a while ago, I think it was black and white 2. I think it might have been blaze black actually, I had a, uh, a kingler named Shellcracker. And now you know why I called it that. That's exactly why. I'll tell you one thing about this game, it really sucks when you have 100 rings then you lose them all. It's like thanks for that, that was really that was really worth my time. Also that segment back there loops. I'm pretty sure it loops, when, it loops uh, the spring section until you get out of it. There's a section in the Labyrinth, Labyrinth Zone that does that in Sonic 1. Alright, Metropolis Zone, Act 2. Look, lava again. This game seems to like lava a lot. I think this is the last time you see it. I don't know if there's any in Act 3, there probably is. Yeah, the shell cracker there, his, uh, his hitbox is really small. So, you're gonna have a bit of, issue, a bit of an issue hitting him. Because he's kind of annoying. <laughs> I say kind of, it's very annoying. <coughs> get the shield. Get the sh God damn it. Do you just hate it when you try to get Sonic to spin dash but he just jumps instead? It's really annoying. Oh, so you can go through this wall. There's a few other walls where you can do that. Those uh, those three monsters are weak because sometimes when I spin dash I go through all three of them. But sometimes it just goes through one at a time and I don't understand why. <coughs> I don't know if it's because I'm doing something wrong. It might be. But I have no idea. There's also one act. I don't know if it's this one or act three. There is like this really dickish slicer placement and it's the worst. There's also one there too. But once he... Wow, great job. I was going to say, once he gets... Uh, once he's lost his slices, he's useless. And then I just walk into him. Like an imbecile. Great job. Seriously. Dumb. <laughs> Play the game better, moron. Alright, oh, anyway, there's an extra life down there as well. I mean, yeah, I'm probably not going to be, like, getting game over, but I'm still doing stupid things. <laughs> Don't do stupid thing. Imagine that other sign. Do not, was that, was that, do not dumb here, not the dumb area here. <laughs> God's sake, I always do stupid things like that. Like, every game I play, I always do something really dumb every playthrough. And it makes no sense. Haha! You missed me! And so did you, you prick! And you did as well. That's um... It's a weird looking lift. Okay, this... Get up there! I always have issues with that. I'm not sure if the dickish slicer pla placement is skippable by taking an alternate route. But I do know that it's annoying and it's the worst enemy placement in the game, probably. There was like, um, there was a hack, not a hack, a saw maker game for Streets of Rage. 
uh, Streets of Rage remake called Boss Rushes of Rage, it was called Worst Enemy Placement. That slicer right there, right, if you like, you know how you start the level over here? If you stand here for long enough and don't move, that slicer will eventually come on screen and kill you, which is really stupid. Like, I, I can't believe they put that there. They've also put a shell cracker on a ledge. Why would you put him there? That's not very nice. Alright, anyway, we're going to come over here now. Oh look, more crushes. There's quite a few crushes in this game, but not as many as in Sonic 3 & Knuckles. Like, uh, Sonic 3 & Knuckles has one level with water and that's it. I thought there's two of them. But, um, <coughs> they have like an obsession with crushes in that game, I think. I, I don't know what it is, but like, somebody on the development team must really like crushes. Like, a lot. Because there's like one in almost every level. It's kind of annoying. I'll probably like, I'll probably uh, point that out when I get to it. And I'll probably do like the Sonic 3 path first, and then the Sonic and Knuckles path. At least since I'm not doing Super Sonic, I won't have to show bloody Doomsday Zone. That one sucks. <laughs> I never liked Doomsday Zone, because it's really hard. That's the only reason, I'll be honest. Okay, so I'm going to die. Okay, there we go. I didn't die. What do you know? Yeah, they put a shell cracker right at the edge of the bloody thing. And, you know, the, those spikes there, you won't hit them if you hit the spring, don't worry about it. That's just to scare you. So, you know, be scared. Oh yeah, it's up here. Look at him. I can't believe I did that so well. I always fuck that up. Nice job. Alright. So I got rid of him. That's the dickish slicer placement because he's directly on top of that bloody spring thing. He's really annoying. Why would you put that there? Oh right then, yeah, there's loads of slices everywhere in this in this level. They really seem to like them. Tails, why would you do that? You idiot! We broke up the Asterons. Well, they didn't hit me, so it doesn't matter, but still. Let's check it over here. And then... <coughs> completely missed that for some reason. Like, not so long ago I had a playthrough where I struggled with that part there. Because of course I did. Fuck you, Shellcracker, go away. Alright, yeah, he's like the worst. <laughs> His hitbox is so small. How did you kill me? Or how did you hit me, rather? Tails, stop it. Uh, run with me, Tails. Do this instead of a activating Asterons by t twitching on the side, I suppose. I mean, I suppose that's what he's doing. He's just twitching. I don't know why he does it. It's really stupid. But yeah, you see those guys? They're really close to the edge. Your tail starts twitching on the edge. You will get hit. What the fuck are you doing in there? I've never seen that. That's so weird. I've never seen him in there before. Alright, here comes the boss I've never ever fun. That great grammar. I've never had fun against because he's the worst. If you can hit him at a specific angle, you won't get hit. But I always get hit at least once by this boss. Case in point, Tails hit him there. <laughs> this looks like a little inflatable Robotnik or something. They also thought that was kind of funny as well. Aha! Aha! Tails! Tails did it! Get him! No, nope. never mind. Okay, I want the, the less things he has, the better. I don't know what they're supposed to be, those things floating around here. They're probably just those little Robotnik bubble things. But, you know, he also fires a laser, which is very easy to avoid. But yeah, those little, like, Robotnik things are really weird looking and kind of funny as well. When I was, um... When I was younger, I thought there were little ghosts swirling around him. You can probably see why. Alright, the Sky Chase Zone. It's, uh, it's an auto-scroller in a Sonic level. Great. <coughs> a Sonic auto-scroller. And, uh, you can't fall off the plane, they say. Except you can, but you can only fall off if you spin dash. And also if you go supersonic in this level, I wouldn't recommend that because <laughs> supersonic will probably fall off as well. I think I fell off a few times with supersonic. But yeah, it's um it's not that bad. It's a lot less it's a lot less annoying than uh, the Metropolis Zone was. Can't destroy those by the way. <clears throat> I always wondered why uh, nobody has ever tried like a genocide run of Sonic 2, where you kill every banner you come across. And then I realised why. On this zone, there's some enemies that you can't kill because they're out of reach. I'll point them out a bit later on when I see them. Ow. 
But um, yeah, these helicopter things, they drop spiked balls on you. They kind of remind me of this like really cre like creepy looking kids show I saw when I was younger. It was it called like JJ the Jet Plane or something. I think there was a helicopter in it and he looked kind of just like these guys actually. These like plane birds are creepy as well. But yeah, I think it was something like that. There were a lot of shows that were like uh, CGI uh, vehicles. There was Finley the Fire Engine, those Rory the Racing Cars. Or... That was actually a surprising amount. I like how they always make the um, the character's name like alliterate with uh, what vehicle he is. I thought that was, was kind of cool. Uh, anyway, enough about JJ the Jet Plane. The stupidest, creepiest show I've ever seen. Ever. Well, actually, you know what? Teletubbies is pretty creepy too. So anyway, get rid of them. I mean, no wonder people made Slendy Tubbies, right? I can't believe that's a game. I don't think you can hit that guy. I just spin that sort of shit. So here's the guys. You see down there? That you can't hit them. Also, these people. I don't know if you saw it yet, but they can shoot at you. Shoot me. He's not going to do it. <laughs> Great. I got hit by him anyway. Shoot me. Wing Fortress Zone. When I was a kid, I didn't know you could jump, and I got a game over by going down with Tails every single time. So Tails gets shot down. Well, he's not dead, obviously. You know, evidently he's in other Sonic games after this. <clears throat> but I was like, why would they shoot down Tails? It's not like, yeah, Tails is the biggest threat to Robotnik, obviously, not not Sonic. Robotnik is really more scared of Tails. See, when I saw that guy there, I thought he was Scratch from Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. A, a lot of people probably did. Because uh, you've got Grounder in, um, you've got Grounder in Aquatic Ruin Zone. <coughs> He's a different colour in the cartoon now. And um, you've got a chicken here. So if you thought he was Scratch, yeah, so did I. So uh, another another level I wouldn't recommend you go Super Sonic on is this one. Because, um, yeah, you're going to fall into a pit. I mean, you probably won't. If you're good enough at controlling Super Sonic, you won't go into a pit. But you probably will. Careful of that, so you get crushed by an extra life box. But yes, that's up there. I usually hit it, like, uh, while I'm going and it doesn't fall down, but not this time. There's also some rings and some invincibility over there. Whee! And then there's these, I don't know why they're here. Oh god damn it, I missed it. I you know what? Oh! God damn it, my bloody speed shoes ran out. Okay, maybe I can't. As Supersonic, if you um, come up here and jump, you can go over that that wall and you can skip almost the entire level. So that's pretty cool. What's he shooting at me? Egg! Yes, he's shooting eggs at me. I don't know why. Maybe he just thought that would be an appropriate weapon. He's shooting his offspring at me, which is very disturbing because they die before they hit me. So, good job. Anyway, um, there's also... You'll notice that... Um, there's something a little bit morbid about Sky Chasers that when you free the animals inside the bad mix, they just fall probably to their deaths. So that's dark. These things go in very fast, so you've just got to be quick. And this part, this part here, just don't move. Just don't press. Just don't hold right. Let go of the bloody arrow when that thing shoots you into the distance. I, I didn't do that when I was a kid. I always died. And I'm sure lots of other people have the same issue. Right, there's a, I know there's an extra life hidden like in one of those walls. I don't remember how to get to it. I think I have to go down here, don't I? I think so. Yeah, I think it's down here. Just fall in here. Extra life and then fall down here and you'll be saved. You won't die. Yeah, I always, uh, I always miss that one because it's... Uh, it's not on my path that I normally take. I figured I'd show it. Okay, great job. I fell down again. No, you'll get saved every single time. Probably by the wind or something, I don't know. Or maybe it's a magician or a, a wizard who's just watching Sonic, I don't know. Great, cool. That was really useful. Thanks. <laughs> Bloody hell, are you serious? <laughs> Whoa. Excuse me, could you please stop sucking? That would be very useful. Up. All right then, let's go back onto the <laughs> onto the path. Like I jumped over a ring for some reason. 
So the boss of this level is kind of annoying. I have 171 rings. I'm probably not going to have those by the end of this because the boss is really annoying, like I said. As Supersonic, you could wreck the boss in like two seconds. It's really easy. So, yep, <laughs> there go my rings. It's a laser, and you can only hit it by riding these platforms, which coincidentally happen to have spikes on them. Crazy, I never would have expected. Ow. Well, while I have invincibility frames, I might as well hit it, right? That's the only reason not to. And then the button just goes down there. And uh, one of the probably better known secrets is uh, in here, there's another extra life. So I'm going into the final level with 20 lives. And then you have a cutscene where um, Robotnik is like, Bye! Can't get me, but Tails is back and he has a rocket, so... I don't know where he got that from, but, you know, he just so happened to get a rocket, which allows you to catch up with him. And, uh, Robotnik's face, while he's, while he's, uh... <laughs> I just thought that was funny. I don't know why. It's just a side view of Robotnik. Really funny for some reason. Well, yeah, Tails uh, can't come with you. So Sonic is on his own. Is, he's on his own for this. Yes, on his own. He's on his own for this level. <coughs> and you go into space, and Sonic somehow doesn't suffocate. I don't know how he doesn't do that. Probably because he's a video game character, and they're immune to the laws of science. So anyway, Death Egg Zone. Now wait here. I'm going to stand here for a sec. Listen to the music. I figured I'd let you listen to a bit of it, because the average player is, isn't really in um, that for very long, so Silver Sonic, just do this. You can hit him a total of four times. And that method I was taking, you can die from his spikes if you're too close. Here's something I always thought was hilarious. How is he faster? <laughs> He's faster than Super Sonic as well, if you use debug. And here we have something terrifying. So, uh, I had trouble with him as a kid, because I would always die, but you've got to jump at him at the right time when his spikes are not particularly in the way. But there is actually another method you can do if you really want to, it's a lot slower, but you can wait for every time it comes down, and then do this, and that works just fine. I will say one thing though, I wouldn't recommend jumping on him when he comes down, because uh, there's been many a time well, I've tried it. Like, he does that and you can jump on him. I wouldn't recommend it because I've phased through him a few times when he does that. It's really annoying, actually, when that happens. So, I don't do it. I don't do it anymore. I used to. But yeah, the second, um, the second attack, as you saw last time, was that he shoots his arms at you. But if you're over here, he can't hit, he can't hit you. Quickly hit him. There we go. I, kill I killed him. He takes 12 hits instead of the usual 8 that the other ones, uh, the other bosses have. If you have Super Sonic, Sonic will <coughs> be, uh, you know his running animation of Super Sonic, he just kind of does that, and uh, he goes by the side of the plane. Anyway, 
there we go, Sonic 2. Um, if you want me to do a playthrough of this as Super Sonic and with debug mode, so just do like every level of Super Sonic, let me know. And uh, I will, because that would be quite fun. And um, that's uh, really all there is to say. Um, so I suppose I'll just show the rest of these credits. Uh, thanks for 100 subscribers and I'll see you next time.